like four or five years ago when I first started on this journey, I fantasized, fantasized about the day I would be flown around the world, I'd be put up in hotels, I'd be given money for food and expenses, and it's happening, right? I just got back from a trip from Europe that was fully covered, and being picked up in 30 minutes by car service, and being put up in a hotel, and given a per diem for me and my friend, and I'm just like, it's here. Everything I postulated and imagined and believed long before there was evidence, it's here. I am just, I'm in awe. And I'm so grateful. We are so freaking powerful. Imagine finding out that your pastor's wife or pastor's daughter has a sex tape. Or she has an only fan imagine finding out something like that that the woman or the woman you used to look at that you used to preach to you that you should repent and be good and do all those things for the name of the lord is now a porn star or she, you can go visit one website and you can see her body for free or you can play a little money well this is the story of uh, nicole mitchell a woman in america that was married to a man of god she herself became a pastor and became preaching and doing all the work of the Lord. She said that she was never satisfied with her own body. She felt like she was sexually subdued. She wanted to explore her body. She wanted to feel herself. But she couldn't do that because of the work of the Lord and the way people looked at her. You know, being a pastor, people will look up to you, even boys, girls, male and female, everybody will look up to you and, and ask you personal questions about their lives. So they expect you to give them advice and information about the Lord. So it was a burden for the lady that uh, she herself have to leave the husband and pursue her career being nude modeling. From nude modeling, she went into OnlyFans. From going into OnlyFans, she became a public figure that is what you call influencing nowadays but you can also know that from her way you know from where she started from people never expected her to do all those kind of things you know the highest scandal you will always uh, attach to men and women of god is always embezzlement taking on of money or maybe even sleeping around but going fully inside the industry that's another thing so she explained that she have to fight herself, fight the demon and fight whatever the hell she is uh, fighting inside her to come out as a queer or whatever the hell she is coming out of. So this comes to my, this is one of the questions I ask myself. All these people identifying as different things. I identify as this, I identify as that because she herself, she identified as queer. She said that she have to accept herself and live the way she wants to live. She doesn't even care about whatever life she have lived before. Being a pastor, having congregation, having people look up to you and all those things. She don't care about that. All she wants to do is to satisfy herself and satisfy her inner thought because she wasn't uh, living the life she wants to live. That's where the only way I have to put it. But the way she wants to live, she wants to accept herself and uh, be in the mood all the time. But for me, I say all those things are bullshit. She saw an opportunity and she capitalized on this. She was never into the life of the Lord. She saw an opportunity. She was never even really into the, I, I am a pastor of a thing. So she capitalized on the whole thing. It wasn't even about identifying as this, identifying as that because... For me personally, when somebody is saying I identify as this, I identify as that, well, I don't really believe all those things because this is just, for me, it's, for me, it's just a cloud chasing. Or you I say you are a man, you identify as a woman, that's bullshit. But however you want to do it, whatever you want to do with yourself, do not use your desire or just come out with your futures and say, I want to be this, I want to be that. But in her own case, she said she wasn't feeling her own body. She wants to feel. It's all about what I feel. But if we all have to behave according to our feeling, many things would have gone wrong. But 
you can't tell somebody how to live their life she wants to go to the streets she went to the streets and mind you people the streets embraced her because people like her coming from the streets if, if they go to the streets they will pull a lot of crowd they will pull a lot of people with them because people will want to see that thing. people will want to see that pastor people will want to pay to see that pastor that came to the streets the streets will embrace them so when you are something doing something like this there is just one thing you have to know is that know that people that knew you that you used to look up to you that you used to look at you and say imagine this young beautiful lady if she can give her life to christ i can do it also so when you change your mind and you become something like that it's like i guess not every career has its own responsibility so if you are a doctor there are things you you are, you are not meant to be doing out in public even if you are, if you are doing it if you are a lawyer there are things you can't be seen doing so when you choose a career there, there are certain responsibilities that it comes with but i believe that that is the world we live this is the world we live in everybody is selfish everybody is acting based on their feeling so that is why whatever i feel like i have to attach it with one organization in the lgbt region and live my life because it's all about freedom everybody wants to exercise their feeling everybody wants to be free they don't care about the responsibility they don't care about the repercussion or the damages they do to themselves or their fellow human beings it's all about me my happiness and myself that is selfish but i don't care whatever you do with yourself i don't care it's all about you but remember we all be after the whole thing we will all be all right thank you for listening have a nice day